Hello there. So my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School. I'm one of the tutors here at the school. And today I'm hopefully answering some of the questions that people have. Obviously if you have any questions that I haven't answered, feel free to drop me an email to info at flowerschoolireland.com. One of the questions we get asked all the time is about the four modules and is it necessary or is it important to do the four modules in sequence? So what I'm going to try and do now is just explain what the four modules are about because it really depends on what your aims are and what the individual themselves, what do you plan to do on completion of your courses and then I can advise you which modules are more important and what sequence you need to take. So as I said, we have four modules on here at the school, at Kays Flair School. Now module one is the most important and I definitely would recommend that everybody attends module one first. Even people that have had previous training and even students that maybe have worked in a flower shop on a junior level. Because unless I asked you and I said to you, right, as a customer, I've come into the shop and I need a 60 euro arrangement. Do you know exactly how many flowers, what type of flowers, what's that arrangement going to cost, the technique of assembly, and to sell it to me at 60 euros and you're going to make a profit on it. Unless you can do that, you need to have covered a module one. So what does module one cover? Module one, we start off with the basics and fundamentals of flower arranging and floristry. It's leading you towards all four modules eventually. So this is where I'll advise you as I go on, where sometimes it's necessary or sometimes it's possible to skip module two or skip module three. But if you haven't attended module one, you are going to find it a little bit more difficult. None of the modules overlap. So what I'm going to turn around and tell you, this is the syllabus and this is what we cover on module one. We won't be covering that on module two or three or four. And when you come on to your next module, I'm presuming and assuming you know already what we have covered on module one. I suppose one of the big things that we cover on module one is how to cost a flower arrangement. How to work out how many and what type of flowers you need to purchase to use in that particular arrangement what the arrangement is going to cost and what the arrangement is going to sell at. You learn all about the different wholesalers and suppliers, but when you go to purchase wholesale, it's not possible to purchase two roses and one stem of leather leaf and one stem of gin. There's minimum amounts that you need to, you know, to purchase. So part of your course is we teach you all about the minimum quantities that you need to buy. So when a customer orders a flower arrangement off you that you know that you need to buy in 25 stems of gym, 20 stems of roses and 10 stems of lilies to make that particular arrangement. We talk about the different wholesalers when you're here at the class and we talk about like purchasing locally from your local cash and carry wholesaler, whether you're in Cork, you're in Dublin, you're in Sligo, Galway or even Belfast. So we talk about like being able to ring up your local wholesaler, maybe having the stuff delivered to you, or maybe actually driving, you know, I mean, to them your, yourselves and picking up the material that you require. But with different wholesalers, there can be minimum amounts. So some wholesalers would have that you need to purchase 100 euros worth of material, or you need to purchase 200 euros worth of material. That's all covered as part of module one. With some of the wholesalers, you need a trade card. And this is where on module one you'll be supplied with the application forms for the different relevant wholesalers and we will be able to go through the application form with you so that you know what sort of questions you need to answer, what sort of information you need to have about your business cards, registering for VAT, registering for tax and even for people that are working from home registering as a sole trader. Now that's only one section of what's covered on module one. Module one, I would turn around and say, to be honest, it's more of a hands-on practical course. Yet everything I've mentioned so far is really all theory work. So on module one, you're learning the basic techniques of what we call geometrical flower arranging. So there's eight different shapes and designs in what we would class as traditional flower arranging. And then you have modern flower arranging. So on module one, that's where we're touching on it. So we're covering a little bit of traditional flower arranging and we're also covering a little bit of modern flower arranging, giving you a taste of both of them. You normally make up at least six designs on module one. All the arrangements that you make, they're hands on. You're not just watching me demonstrating them. You're actually making them up yourself. So I will demonstrate the arrangement first. You'll be supplied with all the flowers and materials that you require. 
You'll also be provided with detailed handouts on each of the displays, like the quantity of material we're using, how many flowers, what it's costing, what it sells at, and tips and techniques on the tricks and techniques of assembling that particular arrangement. Then normally I demonstrate the arrangement step by step. So I do so much and then you will copy but I'll supervise you and normally we'll, we will have if there's a full class, we definitely have two tutors on site all the time. So you're being supervised all the time whilst you're making that arrangement. Then I'll demonstrate the next step, step by step, and again, you copy and you're supervised all the time. So you correct it as you go along. It's not like you're just left to your own devices, make the arrangement, and then need to turn around and say, actually, no, that's wrong. You went wrong back at the very beginning. So you're supervised and you correct it as you go along. It's like ongoing assessment. For more information on what exactly is covered on Module 1, go to the website flowerschoolireland.com, click on the Professional Commercial Courses button, and in the drop-down menu, you'll see Module 1, 2, 3 and 4. By clicking on Module 1, you'll get a full breakdown of the exact syllabus that we cover on Module 1. And as I said, there's no overlapping, so what's covered on Module 1 is not repeated on Module 2 or 3 or 4. Now, as I've said, we recommend that you start with Module 1. And then it's kind of a case of deciding, what's your next step? What do you want to do? So some people might say, well, I want to work in a flower shop. Well, if you want to work in a flower shop, you need to immediately go on to Module 2, then Module 3, and then Module 4. You obviously need all the training if you want to work in a flower shop. Or if you want to open up your own business, whether it's from home on a commercial basis or maybe eventually opening up your own flare shop, you need all four modules. So again, after module one, we would definitely recommend go directly onto module two. To give you an idea what module two covers, this is where it's a continuation and it's especially for students who want to work on a commercial basis, whether it's from home, their own flare shop or work for somebody else. So this is where we're covering like intermediate flower arranging. It's kind of like an extension of module one, a little bit more of the traditional and a little bit more of the modern flower arranging. You're learning all about hand-tied bouquets. Like the thing about hand-tied bouquets, like at a job interview, you'll be asked to make a hand-tied bouquet. You need to be able to make a hand-tied bouquet blindfolded. I'd often say, even with your hands tied behind your back, even though that's not possible, you have to know how to make hand-tied bouquets, and that's covered as part of module two. And also, there's a huge focus on funeral flowers. Depending on the area, but like most flower shops will turn around and say, funeral floristry or sympathy tributes, that's like their bread and butter. So that's what we're covering on module two. But maybe I ask you, well, what's your plan? And you might say, well, I don't want to work from home. I don't want to work in a flower shop. I don't want to open up my own business. Okay, then what's your plan? Maybe you'd like to specialize in wedding floristry. Maybe you'd like to become an event decorator. Maybe you'd like to go and freelance, or maybe you would like to work for an event and hotel decoration company. Well, then maybe module three is your next step. So what does module three cover? Module 3 is specialising in wedding flowers, wedding floristry. This is where you're learning how to make all the different styles of wedding bouquets. From your simple posy bouquet to your elaborate teardrop trailing shower wedding bouquet. You're learning all the different techniques of making wedding bouquets. Hello there. So my name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School. I'm one of the tutors here at the school. And today I'm hopefully answering some of the questions that people have. Obviously, if you have any questions that I haven't answered, feel free to drop me an email to info at flowerschoolireland.com. One of the questions we get asked all the time is about the four modules, and is it necessary or is it important to do the four modules in sequence? So what I'm going to try and do now is just explain what the four modules are about, because it really depends on what your aims are and what the individual themselves what do you plan to do on completion of your courses? And then I can advise you which modules are more important and what sequence you need to take. So as I said, we have four modules on here at the school, at Case Flair School. Now module one is the most important and I definitely would recommend that everybody attends module one first. Even people that have had previous training and even students that maybe have worked in a flower shop on a junior level. Because unless I asked you and I said to you, right, as a customer, I've come into the shop and I need a 60 euro arrangement. Do you know exactly how many flowers, what type of flowers, what's that arrangement going to cost, the technique of assembly, and to sell it to me at 60 euros and you're going to make a profit on it? Unless you can do that, you need to have covered a module one. 
So what does module one cover? Module one, we start off with the basics and fundamentals of flower arranging and floristry. It's leading you towards all four modules eventually. So this is where I'll advise you as I go on, where sometimes it's necessary or sometimes it's possible to skip module two or skip module three. But if you haven't attended module one, you are going to find it a little bit more difficult. None of the modules overlap. So what I'm going to turn around and tell you, this is the syllabus and this is what we cover on module one. We won't be covering that on module two or three or four. And when you come on to your next module, I'm presuming and assuming you know already what we have covered on module one. I suppose one of the big things that we cover on module one is how to cost a flower arrangement. How to work out how many and what type of flowers you need to purchase to use in that particular arrangement. What the arrangement is going to cost and what the arrangement is going to sell at. You learn all about the different wholesalers and suppliers. But well, when you go to purchase wholesale, it's not possible to purchase two roses and one stem of leather leaf and one stem of gin. There's minimum amounts that you need to, you know, to purchase. So part of your course is we teach you all about the minimum quantities that you need to buy. So when a customer orders a flower arrangement off you, that you know that you need to buy in 25 stems of gin, 20 stems of roses and 10 stems of lilies to make that particular arrangement. We talk about the different wholesalers when you're here at the class and we talk about like purchasing locally from your local cash and carry wholesaler, whether you're in Cork, you're in Dublin, you're in Sligo, Galway or even Belfast. So we talk about like being able to ring up your local wholesaler, maybe having the stuff delivered to you or maybe actually driving, you know, into them yourself and picking up the material that you require. But with different wholesalers, there can be minimum amounts. So some wholesalers would have that you need to purchase 100 euros worth of material or you need to purchase 200 euros worth of material. That's all covered as part of module one. With some of the wholesalers, you need a trade card. And this is where on module one, you'll be supplied with the application forms for the different relevant wholesalers. And we will be able to go through the application form with you so that you know what sort of questions you need to answer, what sort of information you need to have about your business cards, registering for VAT, registering for tax, and even for people that are working from home, registering as a sole trader. Now that's only one section of what's covered on module one. Module one, I would turn around and say, to be honest, it's more of a hands-on practical course. Yet everything I've mentioned so far is really all theory work. So on module one, you're learning the basic techniques of what we call geometrical flower arranging. So there's eight different shapes and designs in what we would class as traditional flower arranging. And then you have modern flower arranging. So on module one, that's where we're touching on it. So we're covering a little bit of traditional flower arranging and we're also covering a little bit of modern flower arranging, giving you a taste of both of them. You normally make up at least six designs on module one. All the arrangements that you make, they're hands-on. You're not just watching me demonstrating them. You're actually making them up yourself. So I will demonstrate the arrangement first. You'll be supplied with all the flowers and materials that you require. You'll also be provided with detailed handouts on each of the displays, like the quantity of material we're using, how many flowers, what it's costing, what it sells at, and tips and techniques on the tricks and techniques of assembling that particular arrangement. Then normally I demonstrate the arrangement step by step. So I do so much and then you will copy but I'll supervise you and normally we'll, we will have, if there's a full class, we definitely have two tutors on site all the time. So you're being supervised all the time whilst you're making that arrangement. Then I'll demonstrate the next step, step by step and again you copy and you're supervised all the time. So you correct it as you go along. It's not like you're just left to your own devices, make the arrangement and then me to turn around and say actually no that's wrong. You went wrong back at the very beginning. So you're supervised and you correct it as you go along. It's like ongoing assessment. For more information on what exactly is covered on module one, go to the website flowerschoolireland.com Click on the Professional Commercial Courses button and in the drop down menu you'll see module 1, 2, 3 and 4. By clicking on module 1 you'll get a full breakdown of the exact syllabus that we cover on module 1. And as I said there's no overlapping so what's covered on module 1 is not repeated on module 2 or 3 or 4. Now as I've said we recommend that you start with module 1. And then it's kind of a case of deciding, what's your next step? What do you want to do? So some people might say, well, I want to work in a flower shop. 
Well, if you want to work in a flower shop, you need to immediately go on to module two, then module three, and then module four. You obviously need all the training if you want to work in a flower shop. Or if you want to open up your own business, whether it's from home on a commercial basis, or maybe eventually opening up your own flower shop, you need all four modules. So again, after module one, we would definitely recommend go directly on to module two. To give you an idea what module two covers, this is where it's a continuation, and it's especially for students who want to work on a commercial basis, whether it's from home, their own flower shop, or work for somebody else. So this is where we're covering like intermediate flower arranging. It's kind of like an extension of module one, a little bit more of the traditional and a little bit more of the modern flower arranging. You're learning all about hand type bouquets. Like the thing about hand type bouquets, like at a job interview, you'll be asked to make a hand type bouquet. You need to be able to make a hand type bouquet blindfolded. I'd often say, even with your hands tied behind your back, even though that's not possible, you have to know how to make hand type bouquets, and that's covered as part of module two. And also, there's a huge focus on funeral flowers. Depending on the area, but like most flower shops will turn around and say, funeral floristry or sympathy tributes, that's like their bread and butter. So that's what we're covering on module two. But maybe I ask you, well, what's your plan? And you might say, well, I don't want to work from home. I don't want to work in a flower shop. I don't want to open up my own business. Okay, then what's your plan? Maybe you'd like to specialize in wedding floristry. Maybe you'd like to become an event decorator. Maybe you'd like to go and freelance, or maybe you would like to work for an event and hotel decoration company. Well, then maybe module three is your next step. So what does module three cover? Module three is specializing in wedding flowers, wedding floristry. This is where you're learning how to make all the different styles of wedding bouquets, from your simple posy bouquet to your elaborate teardrop trailing shower wedding bouquet. You're learning all the different techniques of making wedding bouquets, whether it be making a hand tight, doing a wired wedding bouquet, or using one of the newer, more modern methods using the guppy holder or an amateur. So you're learning all that on module three. There's also a huge focus on buttonholes, corsages, flower girls accessories like the flower hoops which are right on trend, uh, the little flower girls ones, they are so popular, flower crowns, sure, Ken's parties, they're all looking for the flower crowns, brides, bridesmaids, flower girls, even holy communions, they're looking for flower crowns. So you're learning all that as part of module three. So again, go to the website flowerschoolireland.com go to the professional commercial courses button and in the drop down you'll see module one two three and four click on module th three and then you'll get a full breakdown syllabus of exactly what's covered on module three now the thing is what's covered on module three is not covered on module two or module one so when you're on module three i'm assuming you know all about wholesalers and suppliers I'm assuming you know all about whole, um, registering with the wholesalers, the VAT number, um, the minimum amounts you need to buy like when you're purchasing the flowers, how to treat the flowers and how to treat the material. I'm assuming you know all that because we've covered all that on module one. For, but for anybody that that's what the aim, you know, I mean, that's the angle they want to take, like is maybe working for an event company or specializing in, mod, in wedding flowers, probably attend module one. Possibly think about doing the hand tied bouquet course, which you can do as a one day course as part of module two. Skip the rest of module two and go directly onto module three, and that's your wedding floristry. And then for anybody that's watching and they're kind of saying to me, well, I'm really not interested in wedding flowers, definitely not interested in funeral flowers, but I do love flower arranging. And I want to do mostly like decorating hotels and churches, like large flower arrangements, large event structures, like the arches, the moon gates, the chandeliers, the candelabra arrangements, the topiary trees. Well, then module four is the one that you need to do. Now on module four, as well as like teaching you how to do the large um, designs um, that when, here at school we try to do with you, is show you about creating these, uh, um, these designs in advance, like making them in your flower shop, in, on your premises, maybe from your own home, and being able to transport them. So you're not actually making the arrangement on site. And imagine like you yourself, you're working for yourself, you're a well, wild class as a one-man show, right? Imagine then you have to arrive at a church and that, then start assembling or start making, creating and designing an arch on site and that could take you three to four hours. And you still have to do the arrangements on the altar, maybe like the unity candle 
our pedestal arrangements on either side, our pew ends, our candelabras in the hotel. Like a lot of this can't be done on site. So on module four, what we teach you to do is making these arrangements on your own premises, so whether it be your house or your flare shop, and then transporting them to the site, whether it be the church or the hotel. That's what module four is all about. But again on module four, I'm assuming you have already completed module one. You know your cost prices of your flowers. You know the treatment of flowers. You know how to prolong the life of hydrangeas. You know how to get the peonies open. You know the minimum quantity of roses, lilies, hydrangeas, peonies, um, carnations, etc. You know how long it's going to take to open up particular flowers. You know all about wholesalers. You know all about buying online, like buying direct from the Dutch suppliers where you get your flowers much cheaper. You know all the information about your local cash and carry wholesalers. You know the minimum quantities you need to buy from that wholesaler. You know how to register, you know about registering for VAT. So as you can see, module one is the most important. But the thing is, at the end of this discussion, if you have any questions, why not just give me a ring? My mobile phone number is 86 Give me a ring and then we can discuss your training. And then I'll probably invite you maybe to visit us here at the school. I know you've met me through this video, but why not come to the school and sit in on a class? There's no charge. Come along, you're more than welcome. Sit in on a class for an hour or two. Watch a class in progress. See me at work. See what I, how I actually teach the class. Watch my techniques. Watch the students at work. Get to meet the students. Have a little chat to them. And then you can decide, like, what is Case, school, is case Flair School suitable for you? And um, by the way, if you have any more questions, I do have a little video blog on frequently asked questions as well. So have a look at that. And that's where I answer a lot more questions that you have. But as I said, just contact me and maybe visit the school. Sit down in the class. You're more than welcome. There's no charge. I hope I've answered any of your questions and thanks a million for watching.